Mm-hmm. All right, you talk about simplifying the defense, Ted. Keep yes. it simple. I'm playing over front and under front. Nobody has a clue what an over and under front well, is. You know, so we're not even going to describe that I was doing that, that, that to him. impress you. You did. Well, that's your your, your football speak. Make yourself sound important it's, 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 on the Sounds like I know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, so that's you with uh, Andrew Callahan, and you said, keep it simple. Yeah. To do, okay, you played for Bill. I have three keys for the defense. Does Bill like to keep it simple? Uh, you, Believe it or not, you would be surprised. I think more than you realize. He he does. Uh, to to when things get hairy, things get out of control, uh, he will go back to keeping it simple. I think this defense with all the young players they have, yeah. believe it or not, I think uh keeping it simple is probably the right way to go. But to answer your question, historically, um with the older defenses he's had, he has not kept it simple. He's gone it's it's a an advanced uh you know defense. But I think this group I don't think Bill is opposed to going back to keeping it simple so that he can kind of build a foundation at least, um, you know, w- from that. So I th- here's, the, here's the keys, I think, on defense. When you have a front seven that is, I think, a ton of question marks, we know the strength is in their safeties. You have question marks at the cornerback position. We don't know maybe, uh, you know, Jalen Mills and who's going to be opposite him. I think what they're going to do, though, this year is – It's going to be Malcolm, but go ahead. They're going to keep – it's okay, so Malcolm. They'll, they got, they're they going to run the same, I think, fronts consistently so that everybody kind of knows where their fits are against the run. If you do multiple fronts, you get three men or three men or four men down three. Uh, th- uh, I think four. I don't, I think they're going to go less linebackers. I think they'll have four down. Line. I think they're play. Well, they have more, they have more down linemen. They have linebackers. That's they what I think. actually play. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. So I think there's, I think they're going to keep the, the front simple. I think they're going to play a lot more zone than they've ever played. If you remember, I mean, they have I, to play zone. I don't think they can run with people. What, you, look at the Buffalo game. I know. B- Buffalo, what were those deep overs? And who's chasing? They're chasing these guys on yeah. these deep overs, yeah. right? Miles Bryant. Yeah. You play zone, that takes care of all that deep over stuff. Um, and then the last thing is aggressive uh, blitz blitzing. I think so they're going to be a zone defense. I think it blitzes a lot, but they're going to keep their front simple because they're going to be, be better against the run, and that's how you do that. The safety talk. Um, when I say simplify things, if you're heavy at safety, meaning that's your strength, I think, to the defense and the back end. McCourty, and then they're going to go, they're going to go big nickel with with Phillips Dugger and, and Duggar down. Yeah. So does that prevent you from – see, what frustrates me is rotations. I go nuts. Because well, they, like, they do it it's too much? It's every other freaking play. And I think Barmore so – I think like a guy simple. like Barmore gets gassed simple. running him off and it on does. the field. Like, and you're looking, like, am I coming out? Yeah. Like, you can't. I don't know. Could you play in a – it's different now. You have to You have to adjust the personnel and offense. I understand that because you change so much. How do you get in a rhythm playing It's hard as a defender? It's hard. It's hard to get in a rhythm. It's very It's very difficult. And if you're – It's game flow, man. If, if you – if yeah, if, if it's all the different guys, different guys and different uh, packages that you have with different fronts, yep. you're going to have confusion. So that's why I'm saying you keep it simple. And I, I just think uh, you're putting a lot of your resources. Maybe Bill's going to time and resources are going to be more heavily towards the offense. The defense, the best thing to do to be successful is keep it simple. And if you can do, uh, you know, you do that, it'll it'll eliminate a lot of the mistakes, I think. That helps young guys out too, right? Helps young guys, gets everybody on the same page. So it's um, interesting, though. So four down, it's probably going to be Ronnie Perkins in the middle. No, it'll be uh, well. No, per- jo- Jawan Bentley will be uh, the, the, the Bentley those, too, but on then, first and second down. Then you have um, on the and outside then, it'll be Uche and um, Judon. And Judon. Yeah. It, 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 to me, the the big, big question mark is 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 it Cameron McGrone, Raquan McMillan? That, are those the guys that you're going to be out? Have, uh, I think those three, like Perkins, M- McMillan, and, and McGrone, McGrone, I think they're all interchangeable. It, like, it, well, McGrone's probably the leader of the pack of that crew. Well, see, right? they love him. Yeah. So fifth round draft pick last year out of Michigan was on IR. Um, so I think to me, I'm curious to see what uh, Cameron McGrone can do. Everybody seems to be high on that kid. So yeah, I think we've seen Bentley. We know what Bentley can do, but he's solid and he's going to help those guys up front. First and second down. He, yeah, he, can't the, cover line. See, that's the thing. If you keep it simple, those guys can't cover tight ends. Well, it's interesting. They they, they would have Juwan a lot of times in coverage, and I just that's interesting because Bill usually doesn't ask. Guys that can't cover to cover. See, I've heard Willie talk about that too. He said, "Yeah, we I dropped two, and I'm like, why am I dropping in the zone? Like, why am I dropping out in the flat? Like, that's not. I want to go kill the quarterback." Yeah. Um, well, he he did. Well, yeah. Do you think they, do you think they misused um, Winovich last year? Like, or didn't play him enough in his specific role? He was awful against the run. He get caved down inside. You know, I what I didn't realize was I thought he could be a all all three down linebacker. He can't. 
can't. And, and, and I, Third I, down. I, yeah, and he's his uh, he, he's he was too smart for his own good too. Like I, I think he right. Oh. I mean, Bill doesn't like those really smart guys, you know, that have opinions and, and know think they know. The um, game plan is what it is, but I really can't talk about it. Yeah, yeah you know, you, you I'd know, like to. But do you know what his strength was? Is Chase Winovich? I thought was a very good pass rusher the when game. he worked in tan- when he worked in tandem. Yeah. So when he was doing picks and X's and stunts and yeah. work, but games. just but just one on one, he wasn't very good. You you have him pick. You set him up to get loose to come around and loop around. That's where he was. He was good at. 